cheapest electromagnetic radiation tester that money can buy, a costimeter for short. Let's see what we get in the box. The box is one of them easy to open and inside we get one short manual. This is the electromagnetic radiation tester. Let's have a look at the short manual as I am quite interested in the specification of the device, especially in the frequency this electromagnetic radiation tester will cover. Here it is, the tester bandwidth that is supposed to cover everything from 5 Hz to 35 MHz. Honestly, I do not believe it is possible as the device is physically too small, really too small to detect 5 Hz waves. 5 Hz wavelength is something like well, 60,000 kilometers. It is 37,000 miles if you're an imperialist. Anyway, let's have a look inside. What type of batteries do we need to get in to get it up and running? Well, probably 9 volt. Yes, one 9 volt battery. I happen to have one on site, so it is time to get it started. The device is made from a medium quality ABS. Well, it was around $20, so what would you expect? The display is clear and can be illuminated at night to get the readings in low or no light conditions. Unfortunately, the illumination is automatic and it goes off after a while, more or less after 15 seconds. Device produces beeping sound when readings are reaching harmful levels. Beeping sound is annoying, but luckily we can turn it off. To show you all the details, I decided to disassemble the device so we all could see the board and all of its internal components. Heart of the device seems to be made of a simple resistor that should act differently exposed to different levels of radiation, so passing more or less current and then getting the reading. Magnetometer of the device seemed to be collecting readings from a steel plate in front of the board. Correct me if I'm wrong. Other interesting elements are display controller and CPU. You have chip's ID numbers on your screen clearly visible, so you can find them out in the internet. It is high time we got some readings. As I just said, I initiated the device as instructed in the instruction manual, far away from any metal objects and sources of radiation. As you can clearly see, the device display shows zero. This is good, it means that without magnetic or electromagnetic radiation, we get no readings. It means that the device is calibrated and ready for action. I tested my Wi-Fi router to begin with. With. I got some readings, but I was not convinced, so I decided to test my microwave. You can see the readings, quite high. The next device I tested was my glass kettle that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Just check the link above. Magnetic radiation visible on the display. I tested my kitchen as well. I tested extension cord as well. Finally, I decided to test my Bluetooth radio that should operate at around 2.4 GHz, so within the device specification, but I did not get any significant reading. The same happens when Wi-Fi router operating at around 3.5 GHz, but this tester sh should cover that and it should spike, but it does not. I tried to get readings on my mobile phones and I got nothing. Testing 2G, 3G and 4G where there should be good readings, especially when making a phone call. To spice the test up, I tested electric pole and electric box in front of the house. I did get some readings in case of the poles with live electric cables on it. I got electromagnetic radiation, but only magnetic radiation on the electric box. Overall, the device works, but in my less than humble opinion, it cannot be trusted as the specification seems to be simply impossible. This type of devices usually starts to detect electromagnetic radiation from around 200 MHz, not from 5 Hz, and usually end up around 5 to 8 GHz, so the simple verdict is get something else. Unfortunately, proper devices of this type cost $200 and more, but if you really want to get proper readings, invest in a proper tool. This one is going to become my small one's toy, so she could learn about the different type of radiation. If you want to get a proper EM tester, just check the links below. That's it for today, remember about watching some other of my videos and see you next time!